Welcome to another episode of the Edmonds Moms Room podcast. I'm Dr. Allison Felt, owner of Body Motion Physical Therapy. And today we have Karen from Honey Water with us. And I am super excited to have you here, Karen. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. We're really excited to be here. Yeah. So tell us, so Honey Water, if you haven't tried it before you like actually listen to this podcast, you should pause it and go grab some Honey Water you sell it at multiple places in Edmonds, um, here in Edmonds, Washington. And so I would love for you to tell us about your company and yeah, I, I have so many questions, but let's just start with how did honey water come to be? I love it. Yes. You can find it in the Edmonds area. If you want to crack a honey water open for today's podcast, um, it's also available on Amazon. So if you're not in the Edmonds, Washington or Seattle area, you can, um, grab some of our new sparkling kindness and the start going way, way back. Let's see. So honestly, we're a husband and wife team. So my husband's not here on the podcast with me, but he, I will say is more of the creator of the two of us. Um, Innovator to a fault, I might add, but it's okay. It's why we're here. It's how we're here. And then I like to say, I'm the one that can make it all happen. And so he comes up with these ideas and he, he's an idea guy. He's been an idea guy forever. I used to work at the university of Washington, um, as a research scientist in OBGYN and he actually, uh, was home with, um, our sons, like we have four boys. And so stay at home dad and while he was um, changing diapers and hanging out with the kiddos he would come up with all these ideas and then fast (laughs) forward quite a bit of time um, and several products later he had this idea for honey water it was really born out of um, like he's an athlete he played football at the University of Washington and you know spoonfuls of honey he's always been trying to get ways to get energy for the just his sports and playing football he had some stomach issues and so a lot of our products you can see are kind of born out of that space and so honey water was part of that um easily digestible but like a longer sustaining level of energy with the um honey being the sweetener and the sugars, the way the body breaks down sugars instead of like just straight like corn syrup. Mm-hmm. And then um, mixing that with our initial product of like with ginger cayenne or honey lemon and a cherry charcoal, all of it kind of like stomach settling products, right? Detoxes. And um, when he came up with the idea at the beginning, I was just like, oh, here we go again. And then he made me the first batch And, uh, I, I like to say like from the very first taste, it started living in me as well. And this is the first product that we've done together where I was like, Oh, I, we have to do this. Like it tastes delicious. It's healthy. It aligns with like functional beverages and how that was really coming to explode as a category, something we could definitely have our kids drink and feel really comfortable about it. And um, a great alternative, right, for them compared to a lot of the other sweetened drinks that are out there. And so with that, like, working together as a couple for our business, um, it's been able to come alive, I'd say, in like a more tangible way. And so we kind of access some of the um, connections we already had from some of our previous products with distributors and uh, we ended up opening a little retail store down in Edmonds, um, got the product in QFC and with our Honey Water Detox and Cafe Ladros carry them and just kind of grew uh, over that time with that product and then just launched Kindness Sparkling Honey Water in the last uh, year. I guess it's almost been from the idea of it, it was a couple years now. Um, that's my favorite yeah. one. I'm obsessed with sparkling <laughs> drinks and I love it because it's not sweet, you know, like, or right. it has this, it just doesn't feel like you're having a sweet thing. 
Like right, it's, it's very light. And I yeah. think sometimes when we say honey water, people think they're going to be drinking something like honey like, but it's really light and refreshing. And so, um, yeah, we want to try and communicate that all the time. Yeah. Um, I love it. And it's not loaded with sugar, so you don't feel guilty giving it to the kids, you know? And Yeah, yeah, not at all. Or even, like, sometimes, like, I'll do keto and um, or other, you know, just watching, like, what, try to eat mindfully and healthy and um, feel very comfortable with that always being a part of how, you know, my mindfulness in eating. So it's, it's, I love that that product can be that for us. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. How do you do this with four kids? <laughs> Well, not pretty, especially now with like remote learning. Um, I just sent them outside. I'm like, just get offline so we can make sure my Zoom is, you know, we're steady. We have good uh, Wi-Fi and um, they're older now. And I think that was a bit of it too, is just the timing of it. When Eric came up with this, the honey water idea, um, we were in a place where I could at least be more available to kind of balancing the business and we have a lot of help from our community, a lot of support from our community, and that is a huge part of it. And that's honestly, so this last product, the sparkling honey water, is that's part of the reason it's named Kindness, is because it was really built on the kindness of our community. Um, once we came up with the first idea for it, we reached out and did a little... Uh, like you could buy a honeycomb of kindness for the first to just get that first uh, batch of honey water sparkling kindness out there. And so they, they helped fund it. Our community helped fund it. And it was really something special. And it was honestly also in response to just the current environment and things that our kids were going through at school and really wanting to um, stand up in ways for social justice and, um, and then giving back to the bees and our community, which we already were doing, but having kind of a, a vehicle for that, which even more aligns with uh, a lot of what I tend to do anyways. <laughs> so it, it really helped, again, just kind of fine tune our business and align it and move it forward. So we've been yeah, excited. Well, kindness is new. The sparkling is, a, you said within a year it's been out? Right, right. I think um, it's just been, it's been about a year and a half now, I think. Okay. Right? I'm trying to like do the, yeah, since like the first product got launched out there. Okay. This year, 2020 is like, like it's a blur. an enigma of time. So I'm like, oh yeah, I have to add that on, right? right. <laughs> so Completely. We're getting it. Yeah. So are you, um, when did uh, Honey Water come to be? What year did you guys start? Well, I think it's been like four or five years now. I'm trying. Yeah, it's been like 2015. Okay. And so we had, um, that's when we first got, ha- like, got it, started getting it into stores, get, got it into like Cafe Ladro, QFC, okay. uh, opened the retail spot, which uh, thankfully the timing kind of worked on that. We just, um, it was a lot of fun. We used, it used to be at like 186 Sunset down in Salish Crossing uh, next to where Bridget's is. And you can still get honey water um, at Bridget's and they are so amazing there. They, you can buy it by the case there. They're kind of like our um, de facto store, I guess. <laughs> we just send people right next door. And it was really lovely to like have that retail space, but the timing actually ended up being okay in in not having the retail front during this time. So our lease was up last year, and so we just decided to focus on the beverages and um, keep moving forward with kindness. So yeah, oh, fantastic. So tell me, um, oh, so much I want to know. Where do I go first? <laughs> I guess tell me the vision. Tell me the vision of where Honey Water is going. Yeah, thanks for asking. Like, you know, I, like I said, we're like my, my husband and I, we work on this together. And it's important to always check back in while we do, especially when he innovates or when we make decisions to move the business forward and make sure it aligns with like the values of our company, the values that we want to bring to our business. And we have people that have bought in and we have investors. And so the, there's definitely um, like, we want to grow our business 
and like mindfully grow it and with kindness being like being able to lead that I think it allows me to feel better where my husband's like way more business minded like he's like let's make millions right so that's a wonderful goal but I also I just needed to be something more I needed to be to be meaningful and to um I love that it's built on our community and I hope that as our business grows that people can like feel that love and support and community like with every sip that they take and I know that's kind of like um you know Pollyanna or or really optimistic but uh I I feel like it's needed (laughs) and Um, I, yeah, so I would love it if you could pick up kindness anywhere, any store and people, it brings like a of kindness and, um, just being aware of, of what, what we're consuming, what we're doing and how we're growing. Right. Totally. Oh, I love it so much. And it's funny you say that because I, I feel like that for me, when I like drink a honey water, First off, Devin, my, I don't, you messaged with her. She right. has organized this podcast. She's our like manager here and she's phenomenal. And she's the one that was like, you've got to try honey water. I want them on this podcast. Can you believe they're from Edmonds? Like awesome. it was, it, she turned me out and it's true. Like you can, like you pick it up and you can just like taste the, like the kindness. I love <laughs> it. It's so perfectly named. And like, you just feel elevated in like a way that like a, alcoholic beverage doesn't do it and like and I also feel like this is a great option for like the pregnant moms who like go down the street to the fishmonger and want to get or the fish you know the bistro and want to pick up honey water and their friends are drinking champagne like it just is so like it's that treat but it's It's like it's elevating I think that's the word for it for me I love it I love that you're saying that that's exactly what we're going for and I appreciate that it is like a a tree and a bubbly some bubbly goodness and kindness and definitely a dry option um you know during this time we are mindful in that way as well of, of being supportive of our communities when or even individuals are just like whether you're going dry for a moment or forever, like it's wonderful to have a, a go-to option to, to help like transition you through that or even when you're out with friends. Um, so we love being uh, a part of that as well. So, yeah. And some great mocktails that you can make with it. That's so, great. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure it can be used as a mixer too, but <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as, I, I don't know if you guys are willing to share this, but do you manufacture here locally or where is yeah. it made? Well, it is, um, that is quite, um, yeah, that <laughs> has been quite a journey. <laughs> it's not easy. Production is, uh, you know, we are ever forever navigating it. Even right now there's an aluminum shortage and, um, you know, COVID presents lots of different challenges. So we do no, not manufacture any longer ourselves, which has been a wonderful evolution to our business. Yeah. But I will tell you, like when we started, it was definitely Eric and I in an old bottling space, uh, old bakery, actually, that we transferred into a bottling space um, on the line getting bottles shipped and it was when it had to stay cold we'd be working in refrigerators and our kids had helped with on the labelers and it was a family effort and a lot of long nights and um, great memories I guess (laughs) but thankfully it is still produced in Washington Um, we have several production facilities actually we work with and they're all uh, amazing and uh, we have been really fortunate, but it does take a lot of effort to kind of develop those relationships. And because the, especially when you're starting small, um, the minimums, like if anybody's out there trying to think like, oh, I want to start a beverage company. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's quite a ride. And it's just a lot of the challenges you just wouldn't really, you know, think of. I'm sure that's in any kind of manufacturing but um, we've been we've been really fortunate in finding some great manufacturers locally and regionally that, to work with. Same with honey suppliers. Yeah, that and, was my next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey supply and like how hard that is to secure when we're having like bee shortages and all that stuff. 
Yeah, and that's definitely why we went back to supporting the bees and the bee, you know, like how, like bee awareness, like so many different things in the environment right now are affecting that, those, the bee populations. And it's just still headed in the wrong direction until some real climate change happens. Um, you know, what's going to be on individuals to really try and do all they can. And uh, we're talking about from our tiniest uh, bee or honey suppliers, right, all the way to the, the larger ones um, and regionally, which is still not like the major crazy honey manufacturers out there, but we, because we still deal with like local producers. But uh, yeah, it, that's, that's another reason why kindness was so important to develop because it's like, yeah, these communities need support, awareness, education, um, more policy development uh, on climate change, and it's all really important. Yeah, so. absolutely. Is it hard to secure the honey? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been easier now that we're at larger, like larger amounts um, in some ways. Um, but yeah, in the beginning when it was just like we were buying them by the bucket, right? And you had to make sure the just had to be the right season. And I mean, different honeys taste so wildly different. So it was really fun to play with in the beginning, um, the different types of honey, like where the bees go, how, um, you know, it tastes different depending on which, where the bees go to get the, um, to make the honey. And so it was, that would change kind of the profiles of our honey water as well. And so now we go with a more basic like clover honey just to make sure you're getting the nearly the same product with every sip. But um, all of that was just so fast, fascinating. And we still keep in good touch with uh, all the bee farmers that we work with. So it's fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's really, it's neat like how real uh, it is, you know, like you're not just like pouring syrup from some feel that right. you extracted this from like this is like nature <laughs> that yeah. you're creating you know you're creating a beverage out of which is awesome I don't know there's a Netflix documentary I'm totally the name of it's totally escaping me but it, told, it goes into the honey industry and how um corrupt it can be and so that was really eye-opening as well and so we definitely have to keep a pulse in and, and keep in close contact with who we use to just make sure that one, it's the honey we say we're get, you know, that we are believe that it is going to be in our product yeah. and um, always verify that. So, yeah, interesting. Oh, cool. I'll have to check out that documentary. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Um, it came out quite a. I'm sure I can find it. It's on Netflix. Ago. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Honey, I, how many honey shows are there on Netflix? <laughs> It's a series because so there's like um, they each series they go into like another area of business, but the honey one was okay. the first one. So I'll, yeah, cool. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, find it somewhere. Um, so my other, I wanted to make sure I like asked you about this too because I'm interested. I haven't seen this product. I don't think in a store, so I haven't tried it. But there, you're you guys have a detox. Like a oh yeah, detox so drink. the. Yeah, the um, Honey Water Detox, that's the one that's in QFC, and okay. um, Cafe Ladros too, I believe, holds uh, has it, and so that's in a glass bottle, so it's not available on Amazon. Okay. Um, we do deliver direct, though, so you can order it on our website um, at honeywater.com is the link to the online store and we do deliver in the Seattle area for free especially with COVID we switched to that um, in the beginning and it's been working really well um, usually we get to you in a couple days but sometimes we'll wait if you're like in a pocket of like South Seattle or definitely West Seattle oh poor West Seattleites like dealing with that bridge and everything so totally yeah but the detox is um is really yummy and it's like we make no claims for sure <laughs> and yeah. it's more of like a pairing kind of drink uh so we have a honey lemon which is just that honey and lemon and then we have a honey ginger cayenne um and then we have a cherry charcoal which is really it's black and it has the charcoal in it We've had a lot of feedback that it's a great uh, detox after maybe too much of an intox. So like the awesome. morning after, yeah, so, um, or before, 
like before if you're gonna have a hard night yeah. But like I said earlier, also a great dry option. And it's uh, all of them, they taste really yummy. So we'll have to get some of those, some of those to you so you can try them. Cool. Yeah. I'm addicted to the kindness. So I don't know if it'll pull me <laughs> off, but <laughs> and and about it, I'm like so thirsty right now. So yeah, yeah. they're not sparkling. So they're just like, well, they were patterned after some popular detoxes a couple of years ago. And it was more like the price point's not insane at all. It's accessible and, um, and just having, you know, some people have drank it and only had that to drink for like a day or two. I don't recommend it. Usually I'll have it as like either a meal replacement if I just if I'm too busy and can't get to a meal or like a midday snack. It's a great midday snack because the honey really does tie you over. You know, it's how your body processes it. Yeah. Um, it's it, I'm not hungry for a while. So that's nice. Awesome. Cool. Is there anything else that you want to share regarding honey water or that you want, you want people to know? Well, I just really appreciate the community we've built and I hope to grow it. I will say that with it being a small company, it is hard sometimes to, you become your own bottleneck, right? And um, especially with my husband being like the innovations guy and he's coming up with these new ideas all the time and I'm trying to kind of keep the wheels moving um, sometimes it takes a minute to kind of look from afar and just see where we're at see where we want to go and how to grow it so just really um, encouraging people to share the story like opportunities like this this is why this is so wonderful uh, for you to share our product on your podcast and reach out to us it really does make diff um, a difference just sharing our product. Um, you know, we're, uh, my husband's black, we're a black owned business, we're local. And it's, it's just, uh, we've been really excited by the support and growing and we still know we have a long ways to go, but um, we really appreciate all the extra opportunities and help in doing that. So. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being on. I think you are our first black owned business on the podcast. So thank you. That's fantastic. Um, and we're, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to send this to friends on the East coast. So they're going to be, you're going to be shipping across the U S which you, I'm sure you already are, but amplify that, amplify that as much as we can. Yeah, please. Amazon, it, we can, some, they, there have been some hiccups on the shipping on Amazon. So just message us if you have any problems and we're happy to kind of take over that business and ship direct from us. Um, and, but you can order it on Amazon as well. And we are, we're just going to hopefully keep growing, ask your grocery stores to carry it. That helps. Yeah. And, um, you know, we can just keep spreading that message of kindness and getting that, those sips of, ele what, how did you say it? That it, like, it elevates. Yes. Yes. So it does though, right? Like, elevate. I mean, doesn't it feel like that drink for you? I mean, it does for me. <laughs> yes. 100%. No, I love that you explained it like that. I might have to bring you to my next podcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> um, one more thing that's on my mind that I'm like, I'm just going to ask you. So do you still work your research job? Oh, no, no, oh, no. no. no it's like, been a long do time. And do the business. And like, yeah, that was actually a huge transition. I will speak to that just a little bit. Yeah. Um, just in understanding like the level of uh, like surrender that it takes to kind of get to this place with your business and being able to leave like a secure job with benefits. I mean, it's all scary. There's been so many points where you just kind of lean into that fear and um, that's what running a business is about. For me, that what that didn't come innately. For my husband, I think it it does. He's more of an entrepreneur at heart, and um, but I've grown immeasurably because of it. And so I think you know we're on these paths, and um, I believe in kindness. I believe in this product, and so I'm just that that belief and that kind of surrender to um what is 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 part of our story and so i'm always happy to share that as well oh that's fantastic yeah what do they say unless you you can't like truly grow your business unless you give up that control right like it's so 
yes. it's so proportional to like letting go of control, letting go of all of it and letting things just blossom and go. In so many ways. Yeah. And each, each jump that we've had has looked like that. Yeah. And sometimes we forget that when we're just kind of in the day to day of it all. And so it's always really nice to speak to somebody and reflect on what we've done and built and grown um, to remember that. So I really appreciate this time to do that. Cool. Well, congratulations on growing your business. And I'm excited to see what Honeywater does in the future. And it's really cool what you guys do for the community. So um, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Edmonds Moms Room podcast is brought to you by Body Motion Physical Therapy. We help women through pregnancy and beyond so they can live active, confident, and healthy lives.